You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well today. I felt inspired today to bring you all along on a little reset day. I've got a lot planned for the day and I really just wanna get on top of the week so that I have a smooth, plain sailing week ahead. That's all we ever want really, isn't it? So I'm gonna do a little shopping list, clean the fridge out, desperately needs doing, go shopping and bring you guys along, show you a little food haul. Then we're gonna have a good old tidy up and just a bit of a reset as well. The important thing is I've reset myself today. I think that's something a lot of people forget to share in these reset videos is yourself. Like I've had a shower, I've washed my hair, I've got makeup on, I feel good. I've got fresh clean clothes on. And I sometimes think that if you're sat on the sofa feeling a bit sorry for yourself, not really wanting to be motivated and organized, the best thing to change that mood is to jump in the shower and refresh yourself. So if that is you right now, then take this as your sign to go and do that. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is make a little meal plan for the week and then I will make a shopping list from that. So let's get cracking. So that's all done now and I'm just going to quickly have a look and see what bits I need to get from the shop for the shopping list that we've already got. Trying to be out of the cupboards so hopefully there's not too much. I get questions a lot about how I stay organised and productive and like heading towards my goals I guess you could say and especially with the weekly shop I get so many of you asking how I manage to sort it all out, control my finances and keep myself in the right headspace and I've put my head to it and I thought I'm going to make some actual physical products for you guys that are going to help and I really do hope they help. Hopefully by the time this video goes up they will be available on my Etsy shop. I've got a little bit of tweaking to do um, but I'm very happy with how they've turned out. So I, I struggle to find to-do lists that work for my brain and I think everyone's different you know we all have ways that we like things to go so I've spent the last year buying different to-do lists from all different people different sellers and I've created my own that feels good and that works and I've spent about a few months now using my own to-do list and I find it so much more helpful so I'm just gonna fill this one out as well this is the to-do list and it's actually called a today I get to list rather than a to-do list because I think it's about being grateful that we're all here, that we're all able to get to do things. And it kind of helps to change your mindset around chores, jobs around the house. And it's more of a privileged thing, I guess. I really like that. And I've also left space here for things that you're grateful for because I think that's something that a lot of to-do lists that I found really lacked and it's something you can fill out at the end of the day. I also really like, personally, I love having a schedule planner. Maybe if you work for someone, it might not be that relevant, but if you work from home, if you're a stay-at-home mum or, you know, if you just have your own self-employed job or even if you work in a job being able to really plan out those times and especially at the weekend as well can really just help to make sure you're not trying to fit in too much into a day there's nothing worse than making to-do lists and getting to the end of the day and not taking anything off and being like why did i not why did i not manage it you beat yourself up and actually doing it this way really helps you to see that you just didn't have enough time today so that's the first one that i've made and i'm so pleased with how it's turned out i really really love it i am tweaking the color slightly hopefully fingers crossed back to this color so this was my first draft which is more of like a rose color which I much prefer so hopefully that works out for me <laughs> and then the same again with my weekly meal planner which you've just seen me plan in um, again the color is going to be tweaked just slightly rather than this kind of purpley color but I really really like it and I found it so much more helpful to just make my brain work in a way because I have so many of these weekly planners that I've used in my life and trying to do it myself in my my notepad nothing was ever quite streamlined enough and nothing made it really simple and easy to see so I've just made it really clear and simple and there's just the days of the week down the side so you can start any day that you want 
and then all of the different meals in a day. Dom doesn't tend to have breakfast, but he has lunch, so I've just put a little dash in between. And then we've got two meal options for each day, and then we've got snacks on that side, dinner options on that side, and then what I'm gonna do now is look at each meal, and then as I look through, add to my shopping list on the side, and I can pop that into my phone. So I'll show you guys how I do that, but like I said, hopefully these are available. If not, I will try and set them to pre-order if you want to support me and my little Etsy shop. I I want to add in here as well that these are going to be fully proof read and checked for quality before they're sent out. I know a lot of you had issues with my book and I really do apologise about that. I was a complete oversight on my behalf and I am really annoyed at Amazon. So if you received a copy that wasn't up to my standards or your standards, I really, really do apologise and that won't be the case for these because I'm buying them in bulk and shipping them out myself personally. So <laughs> lesson learned on that one, I feel. Um, but yeah happy to have my like, actual product out in the world. It feels really, really good. Um, so let's do the shopping list. I'm procrastinating now. Waiting, waiting in vain, but suddenly there you were. Never thought it'd be so what I like to do now is go through my shopping list and pop it into my master shopping list which I keep on my notes app in my phone. These are all ticked from last week so as I put things in I'm going to untick them and make sure I've got everything I need and delete anything I don't need and that's how I kind of keep it really streamlined and easy and then I can tick these ones off on the side as I go. So let's get to it shall we? The best part. So what you could do if you wanted to is get some magnets and stick this to your fridge personally. For my house, I like to rip these off, which is the best part. So these are notepads and they come off kind of easy, but also not too easy. And I'm going to stick this to the inside of my kitchen cupboard now so Dom can see exactly what he needs to eat. And so can I. Does anybody else get up really early and you're like, I'm going to seize the day today and the day just completely runs away? And that is me today. I was like, I can get this done while it's daylight. It was so beautiful this morning and now it's gone really dull. Oh, I'm so ready for summer. So I've completed my little to-do list and I'll show you guys up close. I'm so happy with it. So here I've just got my little plan for the day, which is going quite well so far. We're on to about 11 o'clock and I am about to clean the fridge, so that is good. I find it just really helps me to have a really good day and to just make sure I'm not trying to fit too much in. I've got a little area down here for a meal plan, but because I've only just really planned it, I don't really need to because it's in the top of my mind, but it helps to... If, I, if you fill this out the night before, it really helps you to just have an idea of what's going on the next day. Because I think when you are on a diet and, you know, trying to eat healthy as well, knowing what you're going to eat the day before helps you to actually stick to the plan the next day. Um, I've got my top priorities up there, which is the Etsy orders, the meal plan and the food shop. So Etsy is done for the day. We did that this morning. Now I'm going to do the food shop in a minute and I've already done the meal plans. So they're all done, actually. I can tick them off. Yay! <laughs> Um, there is no better feeling than ticking things off a list. Oh, it's my favourite. Um, and then I've just got here my little get to do list. So I've put clean the fridge, clean the cupboard, sweep and mop. So what I'm going to do first is clean out the fridge. I've been putting this job off for a long time, but I would rather clean the fridge now before I've got the food shop because there's nothing that stresses me out more than all the food defrosting I'm trying to clean the fridge and every week I say I'm going to do it and that happens and I just think oh no it's just too anxiety inducing knowing my everything's defrosting while I'm trying to clean out the fridge so first things first I'm just going to get a bag and take out anything that's gone off I'm really hoping there's not very much but you never really know I've been trying really hard to stop with wasting food but nobody's ever perfect and it's a bit of a a learning curve I feel especially when you're on a budget as well I don't want to be wasting money but let's get to that shall we then once I get back I think I'm gonna have a little tidy up so just make sure the kitchen's tidy and just reset the house a little bit as well it's not doing too bad I've been doing good at keeping on top of things which is nice Ooh. oh do you know one of those noises that really gets to me is rustling paper bags oh Remember like back in the day when you used to go to the supermarket and they had all of these bags? It used to annoy me so much. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> when people would, well, my family would have a bag of bags and there would be all these rustly bags and there was nothing that annoyed me more. You know, like when people do nails down a chalkboard, this is that noise for me. Just like people rustling them all at the checkout. Ugh, I'm glad those days are behind us. <laughs>
Cause I can stay till the morning Stay till the dawn But just hold me now I wanna be so much better Whenever you're around I wanna say something clever To get in your mind Cause right now We're not together And I lose my way then Oh I feel so much better Whenever you're around, whenever you're around, yeah, yeah, whenever you're around, whenever you're around. Is it too late to feel you? Is it too late to tell you? I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did. But I promise, dear, I'll never let you go. So don't let go, get close to me. Oh, don't let go, get close to me. always takes so much longer than you ever want it to <laughs> but it's done now and I've got my bag with my budget in for the week if you missed that video I'll leave it linked below and I've got my phone and I'll see you guys at the shop thinking twice and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. I am back are... with the goods We were slightly over budget this week by £3 So it was £53 50 is usually my max but we're quite far ahead because I had a few weeks of just doing really, really frugal shops. This week I bought a lot more meat and I was hoping to bulk make meals, which I haven't been doing. I've just been literally making enough to get by, but I do know it's cheaper to bulk make things. So I've bought like a lot of meat items and yeah, just extra bits that I wouldn't be buying if it was for single meals. So I'll give you a bit of a tour. So starting with the more unhealthy section, we've got some chips for Dom. 
he won't eat all of these this week. It just means if we end up in a bit of a rush or for any reason the meal plan doesn't go as we plan, it's just a really quick and easy meal to chuck in the oven. It also makes really great lunches if you're ever not sure what to have. A chip butty always wins. <laughs> We've got prawn cocktail crisps for Dom again. I'm really trying not to eat crisps. And my favourite flavour is cheese and onions. So if I don't buy them, I tend not to eat them because I'm not really a fan of this flavour. I got some bread cakes. And again, we probably won't eat all of these bread cakes, but they freeze really well and um, these I had to do two shops I did Morrison's and Lidl I only showed you Lidl <laughs> we got some bread we're probably it depends what Dom does if he has some of these he probably won't eat all of this this week we've got some single cream because I've got a curry recipe to make this week some crumpets they always go down well <laughs> some tin tuna for our lunches this is my favorite dessert oh my goodness me absolutely gorgeous <laughs> i got some stock cubes we were in desperate need for some of these and a lot of the beef recipes need them as well just stocked up on a few different cupboard bits so cumin and chives also chopped tomatoes if you've been following me for a while we made it guys we finally ran out and i just repurchased these cheapo ones as I said before, we've got quite a lot of meat this week, so I got, I think it's like eight chicken breasts, um, some beef steak to put in the slow cooker, and then I've got some ham for Dom's sandwiches. This I'm going to make into a chilli, and then these are probably going to be beef burgers. And then we've got some paneer and some baby bell. I've got really obsessed with baby bell recently. They're a really great snack to have. Dom really likes them as well. And I got paneer instead of chicken for our curry, which to be honest, we can probably blame this for the reason that we went um, over budget this week. But I thought, why not have something really delicious? And if you've never had paneer in your curry, it's absolutely gorgeous and it makes a nice change. I've got some Greek yogurt, which is what I put into my smoothies and can make smoothie bowls and yogurt bowls with. We've got some hummus, so for picky lunches, we can just dip bits and bobs into here. We didn't get very much fresh stuff because as you saw, my fridge is already quite full. Um, these, my gosh, if you go to Lidl, look at this, it's had a bit of a hard life. The bakery section is where it's at. So we're going to have these in a sec with a coffee, but they are chocolate hazelnut donuts. Oh my gosh, so good. I got me an avocado and a swede. I've been making chips out of Swede and it's been really nice and a less carby option for those days where I feel like having less. We've got some tomato puree, I go through this like a mad woman. <laughs> We've got broccoli and some spinach, some baby spinach which was about, I think it's about a pound. I didn't get the unwashed one this week because I just really like it in salads and I don't want a soggy salad and I didn't want to buy a salad spinner. We got some blueberries and some raspberries and then some almond milk and I got these ones because they were much cheaper than the branded ones this week. Sometimes the Alt Pro ones are on offer for a pound and if not they're like one pound fifty whereas these were like 89 pence and that was it in terms of food also had a little splurge which came out of the other little bit of our budget so if you watch my budget video you'll know we have food separate to household items which is also separate from pet food so I got this because we had a bit of extra I think it was about six I think it was six pounds and it's a food processor inspired by my mum so when I'm bulk cooking meals it means I can just chuck an onion in and you just pull it it's like a manual one and it chops it up for you and it's going to save me so much time when I just really want to get things done you know. Now we have the really fun job of putting it all away but at least the fridge is organised and tidy ready for it all. <laughs> I actually feel quite good sometimes I go shopping and I'm just like I'm done I don't want to move for the rest of the day but it's so sunny and warm it's 12 degrees outside which is pretty toasty compared to what it's been recently didn't need a coat um, and I had the best playlist on and it was just it was a really fun playlist so I'll leave it linked down below for any of you who need to jazz up your days, but let's get to it. You say let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? So Dan's kindly made me a cup of coffee, which I definitely need right now. Oh, Wow, I'm just ticking off cleaning the fridge because that is done. Um, and I'm just thinking now about what I need to get done after this. So I'm just gonna have my beautiful donut and my cup of coffee to give me some energy to keep going. So we've just got a bit of tidying up to do after this and we'll see how much further we get with the day because I don't wanna burn myself out either. That's not what this day is about. <laughs> 
We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said, well, I don't know about that I do plan on doing a proper deep clean video very soon because I've got quite a few bits that do desperately need doing but today one of the things I saw in my own video was how gross this cupboard in particular is with things that have like dribbled down that I've not noticed so I'm going to give them all a bit of a, a spruce up and we'll do a proper deep clean in a future video. I'm just going to use this Winter Spice Sephora. I'm really trying to use all my products up and it would be so tempting to whack this back in the cupboard for next year. But they'll bring it out again next year and I do love the smell of cinnamon. It's so, so good. <laughs> just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said whichever you feel like doing first. I said, well, I don't know about that. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play I don't know about that mm -hmm. I don't know about that Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so well, I don't know about that should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that. But there's a whole list full of all the things we can do. But I want to do none. Wish that you did too. So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying. I don't know about that. Because it's my lazy. something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run standing on your knees it's a beautiful world out there just don't pass on the you what I am hot now. <laughs> a jumper I think is the wrong choice for a day like today. So everything is ticked off. Ah, oh, the house feels great. I feel ready to take on the world now to be honest. I was going to do some meal prep in this video but I think I might leave that for its own video because I, I think this video is probably already very very long <laughs> so I will split them in half and then I won't end up cutting corners trying to fit too much into one video. Hopefully that's all right for you guys. If you want to support me and you want to buy one of these if you like the look of them I would absolutely love that so I'll leave the link down below um, I always appreciate it when you guys take the time to, yeah, leave me nice messages, support my Etsy shops. I now have three. <laughs> 
by my book like there are so many things that I'm slowly putting out into the world and it really does make me happy and if you can't afford to support me or maybe they're not your your style I just want to say thank you here for your support and kind words and just for watching these videos week in week out it really does make a difference to me and I really appreciate it so I hope that you have a good day, I hope you have a productive day and get done whatever you want to do. Whatever you do do, make sure that you do think at the end of the day what you are grateful for. And although housework seems so boring sometimes and like the last thing you want to do, the thing it makes me grateful for is the fact I've got a roof over my head and that I have a beautiful home that I can look after and you know it feels like a safe zone for me. So if you've got somewhere in your life that you feel you know you are really appreciated appreciative of <laughs> it's so good to look after that space and I think for me my home is a reflection of my mind so when I've got a tidy home I know that my mind is mostly tidy too <laughs> so I hope that inspires you if you needed an extra spark of inspiration now towards the end of the video but thank you all so so much for watching I will leave a playlist down below of all my other reset days and clean with me's and I hope you all have a really wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next one oh,